Anderson Cooper, AC360, CNN Weeknights, 10 Eastern. It's amazingly adventurous stuff, and I, and I can't help but think, you know, I mean, what propels you to do this, the risk of being hurt, of drowning, even dying, people's survival instincts sort of take over, yet you, you do this very dangerous stuff. Why? Um, there is no experience like it. I started kayaking at a very young age. It's been my sole focus ever since then, and um, there is uh, the places that you're able to go, the experiences that you're able to have, and just um, the sheer thrill of being out on a river and, and running whitewater is is absolutely unreal, and so um, it's, it's that's my driving force. I just I just love it, every aspect about it. When you go kayaking, people say, I think that's runnable. I remember that from the few times I kayaked. Now, what you thought was runnable was a 189-foot waterfall, uh, taller than Niagara Falls for, for context. How is that runnable? What, what, what point did you, I mean, say that this is going to be okay to do? When, when I was growing up kayaking, a very tall waterfall was 70, 80 feet tall. Um, I, I ran one 107 feet tall. That was my biggest one previous to Palouse. Right. And when I looked at, at Palouse, it wasn't the height that I was thinking about. It was the style of waterfall. I could look at it, and I could see that it was possible to run it. And so I think that uh, I, I ran it more because I thought I could. I saw it. I saw that I had it within myself to run this waterfall, to run it successfully and safely. And um, luckily, it went exactly as we uh, hoped and dreamed that it would. I think we're looking at some of the video uh, just, just now. You, you're, you're dropping that that much. And from what I understand, you went 20 feet down into the water, didn't come up for 20 seconds. Um, what, do, do you remember what you were experiencing at that point? Obviously, you were falling, so you were experiencing that. But uh, uh, how did you not like, you know, fall out of the kayak just from the from the momentum and the, and the impact? Right. I I invented a system that literally clamped me into the kayak. Oh. When breaking a record, it's necessary that you stay in the boat. If you come out of the kayak, then it doesn't count. So it was full commitment for me. I was committed on staying in my boat. I had the system that clamped my spray skirt onto the cockpit of the kayak to hold me in it. Hmm. And um, upon impact, I, I was pretty dazed. Um, through free fall, everything was going good. I remember a very conscious, positive thought go through my head that this is going great. I'm exactly where I want to be. While you're my, actually falling. Yeah, while I'm falling, my boat angle is right, which is the most important thing. What is that? Is that just straight down? Straight down. It's a lot like jumping off a bridge or a rock. You want to land feet first. You don't want to land on your belly or off to one side. You want to penetrate into the water and decelerate over as long a period of time as possible. That reduces the g-forces acting upon you, and and that's what keeps you okay. And so, so instead of just stopping suddenly, you're exactly. stopping slowly going. Exactly. You want to go as deep as possible, slow down over as long a period of time as possible. It's still um, a ferocious impact, the biggest impact of my life, and uh, I was completely dazed right upon impact. Yeah. Was that the scariest? One of the scariest moments, or, or if not, what was? The scariest moment is always when you're making the decision to do it. After you've made the decision to run something, you're getting in your kayak, you're getting ready to do it, you have to put that fear aside. You have to be able to focus exactly on what you're doing. If, if you second guess yourself when you're doing something, if you have an oh crap moment right as you're going off the lip of this waterfall, chances are you're not going to be able to react to what's going on right at that specific period of time. So. It's, it's necessary to put that fear in a box, place it to the side, you know, be sure you have that fear there when you're making that decision because that's what allows you to make the decision to run it and be safe or be safe and walk away from it and be okay with that. So fear is an important part, but you have to push it to the side with when you're running everything it. you just said now, have there been incidents where you realize during it now, not before, not when you're making a decision, but during your, the fact that the time you're running something that it's not going well? and you got scared? There, there have been a couple of, of, of periods of time when, when I was obviously certainly scared kayaking, but um, I try to keep those to a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you think about sort of next things for you, what if I told you that you, you can't kayak anymore? That's something you can't, it can't be a part of your life. What would that mean for you? Well, I would treat it as I treat everything in life. I think that you can never pin something good or bad because you don't know what outcome that's going to have on the rest of your life. Um, I would embrace it and accept it and, and move on and try to find the next adventure. 
just just hanging out with you is kind of kind of makes me feel more <laughs> at peace with myself, which I like. I appreciate Good. it. Well, it's a pleasure to be able to do that for you. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you.